<gasps> oh, oh my god, and it's wet. <laughs> but it's like a rainforest inside a pyramid. Boys and girls, we made it to the beach. Oh yeah, she's down there, grab her. Oh man, so I uploaded a video, my hair. I uploaded a video around a year ago from today. Nice and fat little fishy, so he's gonna be on in there. And then with that, look at that little guy. Look at him, crazy. These fish are really pretty, but nobody has no idea they're in here. It got like around 200,000 views, which is a good video for me. So basically the concept is, is we're at a putt-putt course. They've got these little like streams and river walkway things, and there's fish in them. Okay, so this thing is draining through here onto this side. All the little fish that get sucked into that, they're probably dying via impact. So me and Nate rescued tiny fish last time. Like Christian said, <clears throat> they got bigger. There's like a two pound bass in here. That thing definitely can't live because it's only inches deep. Let's give her a whirl. <laughs> All right, like Christian said, this is a terrible idea. Definitely not supposed to be cast in here in a mini golf course. Quit running, Britain. Oh, oh, stickers. Oh, oh, Britain. Oh. We probably just caught the whole population. Oh, we got one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I didn't even see that. Look at Look that. that. A three inch butt butt course. <laughs> Bro. And a big old brim. Dude, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put him back. Oh gosh. Oh my. Okay, I gotta get her over there. There she goes. There was no other way to get her there. I, I cannot make that. I, I didn't think we were gonna catch that. I'm just gonna do one more throw. There's Brenton. He's gonna throw the gas net again. Oh god, he just cut the whole population. Oh, he got one. Nothing wrong with these guys right here. Yeah, they're not supposed to be in there, I can tell you that. Wow. That wow. Oh my god. Look at those, bro. Dude, look at the size of these. Oh my goodness. That is a hand. Dude, they are massive. All right, well, there we go. All right, we're gonna let these go. We'll to a few more casts. That'll still get them. There we go. Yeah, it's looking like we caught them all. That is insane, bro. That was a big bass first cast. Okay, that is like, last time, like I said, me and Nate caught like small little fish, like bait fish. Now at the time, there was a little bit less water in there, but that bass, not in there. It was definitely not in there. Or maybe it was and we didn't see it, but the fact that we decided just to take the cast net out and throw that thing out, uh, that worked. But we let them go into this pond behind us and I would just be interested to see if we can catch some fish in there with the cast net too. So I think Christian's gonna throw it around, I'm gonna throw it around, see what we can do. Oh yeah, thefanaticbrand.com. Get the get the merchandise. Grab it. It's warm. It's warm. We're definitely about to get kicked off, guys. But we're acting like nothing's happening. Really caught nothing. Literally nothing. Oh yeah, we we just want to stop by and cast out a fish real quick. My bad. Yeah, gotcha. This would literally be Chris's dream. I just don't see anything. Never mind. I want one of those, bro. I want one of those so bad. Here we go. It's about to get foggy. Okay, we are literally in a rainforest right now. Like I kid you not. Look down there. Just, just get ready. Just get ready. Freaking Kevin over there. Go to a tree, Kevin. Go to a tree. Bro, those are bats. The corona's in there. Oh my, that's a monster bat. What are you looking at? The air coming at me. Oh, the air. You're looking at the air. Oh my. That thing looks insane. Okay, this is where it gets. Actually, by the way, one of my friends jumped in the aquarium here last year. We're gonna try and avoid that. See, like, this is stuff you find in Florida, which is weird. I don't know if you guys see the fish down there, but they're all over the place. So it's like this whole, like, rainforest theme, but you guys can see there's stingrays. All the waterways are connected. There's a giant garami over there, but it's like a rainforest inside a pyramid. And there's one of these. Larry. Larry the lizard. Like, they legit have ducks in here. Like, there's ducks and then a giant garami. Like, if I was that garami, I'd eat the duck. <laughs> Kyle, come here, come here. Dude, they're everywhere. Like, it's like a freaking rainforest. The big pond and everything, like, this stuff is insane. So you guys can kind of see the netting right here, but from that other pond, it runs down to a waterfall. There's actually a goldfish back in there, and it runs down over here into this stream, and there is massive cichlids. And look at this, look at this gar. That is a gar. Well, look at that gar. You can literally touch them. 
I have a gar just like that. It's actually almost double that size. And then you come over to this side, you got more cichlids, Midas cichlids, like everything. They have an ocelot in here. I have no idea where it is. Oh God, here we go. Look there, well there's the flamingos. Like you're walking along the pathway and like you look down and there's like little sections of water with like fish that go under these trees and back down this river. Oh God, more Corona. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Parrots and yeah, this is, this is my dream to have in a house. It's just gonna cost me about a million dollars. But you guys can see there's tiger shovel nose, there's stingrays, parrots. I feel like we're in Indiana Jones. Like, oh my gosh. I have no idea what this is. Larry, are you? Oh my. The massive snake right there. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but we're underneath a waterfall. And there is a massive turtle right there. This is like insane. Like, I feel like this is this is like my absolute dream to have. Why are there, why are there so many freaking bats? Oh my god. See, last time I was here, they didn't have this thing, so I'm interested to know what it is. Well, that looks like a uh, a four-legged kangaroo. And it's like a it looks like a capybara. See him over there just munching? He's just chewing. Well, oh god, this is where this is where Mark jumped in right here. <laughs> and what? Well, why? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? What? What are you doing? What? Hi. Oh my god. See, this is this is a Nile perch, and the perch that we have here in uh, Texas are a lot smaller. They're uh, they're much smaller. This thing is huge. Dude, they're labeled. Like they've got little bands on their feet right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's labeled number 65. We've been trying to take a picture with a flamingo for like an hour now. They're all back here. Oh, duck. Bro, oh, I want one of those ducks. Those ducks are so cute. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. He's all. Oh, my. Oh, wow. All right. Here they are. Oh, God. So the things just keep coming out of here. Like, there's another duck from nowhere. But they have, like, little food bins. You guys can see they're, like, hidden back up in there. And, like, there's just animals living throughout this. It's not like a aquarium almost. It's like, I don't even know what you call it. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh my gosh, that's a massive puffer fish. That is so sick. That's what I that's what I want my puffer to look like. Oh, there's another bird. Another bird. Oh god. And then it runs up over here. All like I said, all the waterways are connected. Yeah, that is a sick pond. That is a sick pond. I don't know what my ideal fish would be, but this giant freshwater puffer is dope. The fact that it's freshwater is a lot easier to take care of. And I have one of these. I have him. And there's a Discadotus, Cynodonus catfish, which is also like an upside down catfish. They swim upside down. There Here's the puffer. That is a massive freaking puffer, bro. And that waterfall that we were standing under is coming from right here. They've got probably a big pump cycling it through this thing. Oh my, here we go. Here, that is a that is a Paku. I have one of those and this one is about, that looks like a 90 pound Paku, literally. That is the fattest Paku, oh my goodness. If you guys don't know what Paku is, it's basically a piranha, just not as mean. There's another one over there, come up to the surface. You can barely see through the, like, the reflection of the glass, but there's like rays down there. Obviously the tree with the birds in the middle, all the flamingos, I don't know how an air pima does not eat that flamingo. They've got turtles. You can see his shadow and him. Hi. There's the arowana over there. You can kind of see the arowana. And that's literally another massive arowana. Oh, now he's laying down. What are you doing? That's an insane exhibit. So we're going to go out. We got one more thing we got to go through. But that was basically all of that. Oh my God. Hi. All right, back through these things. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Bro, this used to be a turtle tank. Dang it. I wanted to see that. They had a snake neck turtle in here. I got to show people. I swear they have Jurassic Park going inside here. They got like a bunch of cages and animals down there. And I don't know what they have, but it's not open to the public. You hear that? Freaking Velociraptor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've been doing stuff like literally crazy. Fishing, we're here at the ocean, but no, we did end up saving some fish, which was sick. Hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. But if you guys didn't know, statistically speaking, 61.5% of you guys are not subscribed. So hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell while you're at it. If you guys have any videos, ideas, or suggestions, comment them down below. We'll be back home tomorrow to film some more videos, and then I think we're gonna go on another trip and film some even more. So with that being said, I will catch you ladies and gentlemen on that next episode. Oh, here he goes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, all right, uh, pet, peace.